Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 26th and 27th chapters. Then one of the twelve and said, What will you give me if I deliver him to you? And they paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from that moment he sought an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where will you have us prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to such a one, and say to him, The teacher says, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he sat at table with the twelve disciples, and as they were eating, he said, Truly I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sorrowful, and began to say to him, one after another, Is it I, Lord? Is it I, Lord? Is it I, Lord? He answered, He who has dipped his hand in the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Is it I, Master? He said to him, You have said so. Now as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I shall not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives, Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter declared to him, Though they will all fall away because of you, I will never fall away. Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, this night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. And, and so, so said, said all the disciples. And Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go and pray. And taking with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death, 
Remain here and watch with me. He's going a little farther. He's showing his face and praying. My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, for the second time, he went away and prayed. My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, thy will be done. And again he came and found them sleeping. For their eyes were heavy. So, leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed unto the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve. And with him a great cloud was torn in blood, and the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I shall kiss is the man. Seize him. And he came up to Jesus at once, and said, Hail, Master! And he kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, why are you here? Then they came up and laid hands on Jesus and seized him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword. And struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then should the scriptures be fulfilled, that it must be so? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me. But all this has taken place, that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. That the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. And those who had seized Jesus fled into Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Peter followed him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest. And going inside, he sat with the guards to see the end. the chief priests and the whole council sought false testimony against Jesus, that they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and build it in three days. And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you. But Jesus was silent. And the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so. But I tell you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robe and said, he has uttered blasphemy. Who 
why do we still need witnesses? You have now heard his blas blasphemy. What is your judgment? They answered, he deserves death! Then they spat in his face and struck him and slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, us, you Christ! Who is it that struck you? Who is it? Who is it? Who, Who is, is it that, that struck, struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. And a maid came up to him and said, You also were with Jesus, the Galilean. But he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you mean. And when he went out to the porch, another maid saw him, and he said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again, he denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly, you are also one of them. For your accent betrays you. Then he began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I do not know the man! And immediately, the cock crowed. And Peter remembered the saying of Jesus. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him to Pilate the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that he was condemned, he repented and brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned. They said, what is that to us? See to it yourself. And throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed. And he went and hanged himself. But the chief priests, taking the pieces of silver, said, it is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. So they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Therefore that field has been called the field of blood to this day. And then was fulfilled what had been spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him on whom a price had been set by some of the sons of Israel, and they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord directed me. Jesus stood before the governor. And the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said to him, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave no answer, not even to a single charge. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Jesus. 
And they said, Barabbas! that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning. Soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium. And they gathered the whole battalion before him, and they stripped him, and put a scarlet robe upon him, and placed a crown of thorns, and put it on his head, and he put a reed in his right hand, and one on the left. and led him away to crucify him. Marching out, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. And when they came to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull, they offered him wine to drink, mingled with gall, but when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Then they sat down. Those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save, save yourself, it. if you are the Son of God, come, come down, down from, from the, the cross. cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, He saves others. He cannot he save, save himself. He, he is, is the King of Israel. Israel.
Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani? That is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? One of them at once ran and took a sponge filled with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks split. The tombs also were opened, and many of the bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. And the centurion. looking on from afar, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him. Among whom were Mary Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea, named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. Next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember how that imposter said while he was still alive, After three days I will rise again. Therefore, order the sepulcher to be made secure until the third day, lest his disciples go him away and tell the people he has risen from the dead and the last straw will be worse than the first. Pilate said again, we have a law to follow you. Go, make as secure as you can. So they went and made the sepulcher secure by sealing the stone and setting a guard. Oh, Jeru. 
And stoning those Stoning, stoning those Symptom to you Oh, send on to you Now I say, now I say Unto you You shall not